Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. 20% of a number is three times the number plus 28. What is the number? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second, then of course I'll solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the question one more time before we see the answer. So 20% of some number is three times that number plus 28. What is this number? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is negative 10. All right, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in translating verbal phrases into algebraic phrases and solving linear, equa linear equations that involve a percent. Now, when you tell your friends and family that, they'll be like, that is so boring. Matter of fact, I have no idea what you're talking about, but uh, leave me alone because you are disturbing my Netflix. But uh, all jokes aside, if you were able to get this right, that is fantastic. But uh, if you're a little bit lost, don't worry. The main um, idea here is translating. Well, it's actually a few ideas, but the first thing we need to do is to be able to translate a verbal phrase, in other words, we have a bunch of words here, uh, into a variable phrase or an algebraic expression. And uh, this is really a key critical uh, algebraic uh, skill that you learn in the beginning of algebra. So if you're struggling with this, uh, obviously this will be something that you'll want to work on. So let's go ahead and get into the um, solution to this problem right now. Okay, so first things first. First, we are dealing with a math word problem. So always uh, use the rule of three, which is even though you understand the problem, uh, always force yourself to read the problem at least three times. And just don't read it fast like, okay, here's a problem, here's a problem, here's a problem. That's not the point. That's not the rule of three. That's not what I'm saying. In other words, read the problem one time just to get your bearings. Read the problem, slow down, read it again. And as you're reading it, you should be thinking about, all right, have I seen a problem like this before? Uh, will I have to use algebra to solve this problem? Uh, you know, uh, you know, you're thinking about some of the things that you have in your tool cut, toolkit, excuse me, math toolkit that can help you solve this problem. And then the third time you read that problem, and this is the minimum amount of times, you really want to make sure you understand the question. And once you understand the question, you want to circle back and kind of connect the question to the information in the problem. So here we are dealing with percent. So we're going to have to know something about percent. And we're talking about some number, a number. Well, what is a number? Well, we don't know what a number is. So uh, using a variable like x is a good uh, you know, idea because a variable, um, of course, when we're talking about variables, we're talking about algebra, a variable can represent a number. So we again, we want to translate this verbal situation into a mathematical situation. So a lot of different skills going on here, not difficult skills, but again, things that hopefully you learn, uh, you know, in your basic uh, pre-algebra or algebra one courses. All right, so now that we have uh, a good idea what this problem is about, we want to translate or model the problem. And again, we're going to want to use a variable because we're dealing with an unknown value. See, when you solve a math problem and there's some sort of unknown value that's in the problem, you oftentimes want to think of using algebra, right? Now, some of you may have been creative enough to kind of solve this problem on your own without algebra, and that, you know, is uh, to be applauded. But algebra is a tool, and it just makes things so much easier. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and define this number, our mystery number. I'm going to let the variable x equal that number, right, the number. So uh, if I solve for x, well, then I will have solved the problem. 
Okay, so you want to kind of delineate these things as well. In other words, just don't say X or whatever the case is. You should define it. Hey, this X is going to equal this mystery number. Then we can go back to our problem and start building, uh, you know, some relationship between the information in the problem. Now, namely, what you want to do is try to build an equation because you can't solve for a variable like X unless we have some sort of equation and we want to use the information in the prompt to build an equation. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And again, uh, this uh, part of the problem is going to depend upon your ability to translate a verbal phrase, i.e. a phrase with uh, letters, okay, uh, sentences into um, algebra, okay, into a variable phrase. So let's go ahead and break this uh, into two separate components. So the first part is 20% of a number. Now I have this broken up into two separate parts, and you'll see why here in a second. But anytime you see the word is, that is a, a very important word uh, in mathematics. The is word, the, the word is, is the equal sign. Okay, so we just, um, you know, instantaneously be like, oh, there's is. So you want to put that equal sign. So we're equating something, you know, we're equating before everything before the word is to everything that's after the word is. Okay, so 20% of a number is or is equal to three times the number plus eight. So now we want to go ahead and translate each one of these things. All right, so 20% of a number. Now, remember, we define that number. or We're going to let our number equal to X. But we need to express this uh, in terms of uh, you know mathematics. So 20% of a number. Well, what does it mean to find the percent of a number? Well, if you forget, uh, forget uh, go back and just do something easy. Use an easy example to help you remember how to do this stuff. So let's just take something like 20% of 100. So what's 20% of 100? Don't even look at the math. What is 50% of 100? Okay, <laughs> hopefully you're saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, it's 50. What's 100% of 100? Well, it would be 100. What's 1% 1 of 100? It would be 1. So 20% of 100 is obviously 20. Okay, so you know that, right? So let's say you forgot how to do this. You're like, ah, I think this is how you find the percent of a number. So just do take a problem that you already know the answer to and then uh, review what you think is the procedure. Now, the procedure to find the percent of a number is to uh, convert that percent to a decimal. Now, how do we do that? Well, we divide that by 100. So we're going to divide our percent by 100. So 20 percent uh, divided by 100 is equal to 0.2. Now, another way you can think of that is you can uh, move the decimal point over two places to the left. Uh, that is just the, a result of dividing by 100. So some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, just move the decimal point over two places to the left. Yes, indeed. Uh, you know, I plan on doing that. But why are we doing that? Well, that's just the result of dividing by 100. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our percent and turn it into a decimal and then just multiply by the number that we want to find that percent of. All right, so 20% is 0.2, so 0.2 times 100. Again, I said uh, feel free to use your calculator, but 0.2 times 100 is indeed 20. All right, so how do we find the percent of a number? Well, we're going to convert or, or uh, write that percent as a decimal and multiply by that number. So in this case, this would be 0.2 times X. All right, so that's going to be the um, translation for this part of the problem. Now, the second part of the problem is what? Well, this is three times the number. Well, that's going to be three times what? X plus 28. All right, so hopefully this is all making sense, and now let's put it all together. So 20% of our number is going to be 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.2 times that number, which, of course, uh, we don't know. It's X, right? So this is 20% of the number is equal to 3 times that number plus 28. All right, so this is what we have here. We have this lovely linear equation, 0.2x is equal to 3x plus 28. Now we can put our attention on solving this equation for x. All right, so that is what we're going to do now. But before we do that, we're going to have you do this, which, of course, is you quickly subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, I definitely need your help. 
All right. Now I'm asking for your help. And if you need help in math, you need to ask for, <laughs> ask somebody for help. So hopefully you have a teacher. So if you are struggling in math, right, my whole passion, the reason why I do what I've been doing for years and years and years is to stop this from occurring. Someone saying, I am bad at math, all right? This is not true, all right? Is this true or false? That is false, okay? In my experience, the multiple decades I've been teaching, 99.99% of people who struggle in math can be dramatically better at math, all right? But the first starting point is you need to ask for help and you need to get this statement out of your head, all right? Uh, just like anything else in life, if you have some uh, identity, if you believe something, all right, if you're, even if you're getting great instruction, you're working hard, if way, way back in the back of your head you're saying, I'm, I'm still bad at math, look at me, I'm doing all this work, I'm, I'm getting the right problems, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting things, you know, correct, I'm learning, I'm learning, but still somehow I'm bad at math, you got to get this out of your head, right? So I'm, you know, here to tell you as a trusted source, you're not bad at math, you just need to improve and you got to be willing to put in the work and most importantly, you need a teacher that can teach you in a way that you like and understand and give you the proper encouragement so you don't give up on yourself. That's why I do what I do. I love what I do, uh, but I want to reach more people. And the only way I can do that is to get your help. So hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, might as well hit that notification bell as well. On my channel, you'll find math from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. All right, so that's my little uh, message of math hope to you. Now let's get back to this problem. Okay, so now we're going to solve for x. We have 0.2x is equal to 3x plus 28. And here is all the steps. We're going to go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. We're going to move all our variables to the left. And when we do this, uh, we're going to be very careful, of course, right? 0.2 minus uh, uh, 3 is negative. You got to be careful here, right? Because we're dealing with positive and negative numbers. Negative 2.8x is equal to 28. All right, now, if you are struggling with any of this stuff, like, oh, I don't even know how to solve these basic equations, I have a ton of uh, videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out, but I would suggest checking out um, my pre-algebra, algebra one course. You can find all that stuff uh, in the, the um, description, all the course links. All right, so we have negative uh, 2.8x is equal to 28. So now to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by negative 2.8, and when we do that, we get 28 divided by negative 2.8. X is going to be equal to negative 10. All right, now let's suppose we did all this and we're saying, you know what, we're feeling pretty good about this answer, but maybe you might be saying, well, maybe I'm just not sure. Okay, how could we check this answer? Well, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, let's go back and say, all right, well, our number, right? Uh, what we were looking for, x is the number, is negative 10. All right, so if this number is negative 10, let's go back and check this uh, translation. So 20% of our number, now we know the number is negative 10, is what? Well, 20% of negative 10 is gonna be 0.2 times negative 10. 0.2 times negative 10 is negative two. All right, so let's see if that is equal to this part of the problem. 3 times the number plus 28. Well, what is the number? Well, remember, the number now is negative 10. So 3 times the number would be 3 times negative 10. 3 times negative 10 is negative 30 plus 28. Negative 30 plus 28 is indeed negative 2. Wow, look at this. Everything worked out. Okay, so a simple example, but an important uh, example on you know, basic skills that you need in order to solve an algebra word problem. And namely, you need to obviously know how to solve equations, but you need to know how to translate uh, verbal phrases into algebraic or variable phrases. And if anything in this, uh, you know, problem, if you don't understand, just make yourself a math shopping list. Be like, oh, I need to pick up some skills on this, 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 and this. This is what I'm talking about. Talking about. You can improve in math, but you can't improve if you're not willing to take action. Now, if somebody out there are, um, you know, not math students, but you want to relearn math, check out my two courses. You can find links to these in the description. First is my math foundation course. That's just a quick basic math review, decimals, fractions, all that really super important stuff they have to get down. 
But if you're um, kind of wanting to relearn math, let's say you've been away from math for a long time, well then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. In that course, I teach you basic math, algebra, geometry, some basic trigonometry, and some probability and statistics. And all my courses are self-paced as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.